So before we start setting up Prettier and ESLint in Visual Studio Code, let's just talk about what the difference between Prettier and other linters is. So linters basically have two categories of rules. The first category is formatting rules that help you format your code. Like if you want to have single quotes instead of double quotes, if you only want to use tabs, if you want to limit the length of a line of code, etc. Whereas the other category is code quality rules. These rules follow a particular guideline of your project and will give you a warning on any problematic patterns that it finds. So these code quality rules will have to be set up by you and then your linter can give you warnings based on those guidelines. Like if you've set up that no unused wars, that'll basically mean if you set up a variable and not use it, it'll give you a warning. So for our first category of rules, that is the formatting rules, we'll be using Prettier. For code quality rules, we'll be using ESLint. It's important to note that Prettier can only handle the formatting rules. It cannot handle any of the code quality rules. Whereas a linter like ESLint can not only handle code quality rules, but can also set up formatting rules for you. However, Prettier does have a good set of default rules, which makes it really easy to set up code formatting. So we let Prettier handle these formatting rules, whereas we'll use ESLint only for the code quality rules. So let's go ahead and install our extensions. For demo purposes, I've got an empty React Native project here that I've created with Expo. First, let's install Prettier. The one we want is by Esben Peterson, and it usually comes up on the top. Once it's installed, open up your preferences and search for single quotes. Scroll down and make sure Prettier single quote is checked. This will automatically convert our double quotes to single quotes. Also, just make sure format on save is also set to true. So type format on save and check this box. Now let's come to our app.js and here we'll replace these two single quotes with double quotes and press save we notice that they automatically get converted to single quotes. Next, let's go ahead and install ESLint. The one we want is by Dirk Bomber and it comes up usually with a star. Once it's installed, come back to our app.js and you'll get an error here, which will ask you to install an ESLint file. That's not coming up again for me, but the output will look something like this. It tells you to install ESLint in your project folder or globally install it. If you remember, I had told you that ESLint on its own does not provide any configuration. It only follows the configuration that you give it. But as always, we have someone there who's helped us out. In this case, it's the team at Airbnb. And now this is maintained by the community. They already have a set of styles, which are more or less accepted by everyone. And we'll go ahead and install these. Installing this will not only install the Airbnb config, but it will also make sure that the ESLint dependency, the one we were getting the error about, will go away. So we'll just copy this line of code here to install our config along with its dependencies. Once that's installed, all we need to do is in your root folder, go ahead and create a .eslintrc file. And here we'll say extends and pass in Airbnb. Once we save that out, come back to app.js. In case we don't see any linting, just restart Visual Studio Code. And there we can see we're getting our warnings. So here we're getting some warnings from ESLint, which we want. However, if you come here, you notice that it says missing trailing comma. As per our Prettier config, we don't want a trailing edge comma, but ESLint is still providing us this error. So there is some sort of conflict between Prettier and ESLint. Like we had decided earlier in this video that we let Prettier handle the formatting and ESLint only the code styling. Let's go ahead and disable the ESLint formatting. We don't need to do that manually again. We can just go ahead and install this dependency called ESLint config Prettier. So this will just turn off all rules that are unnecessary or might conflict with Prettier. Open up your terminal again and type npm install ESLint config Prettier. Once that's installed, let's come to our .eslint rc file. And here as per the documentation, after Airbnb in the extends, let's pass in Prettier. Make sure to put Prettier in the end so that it can override the Airbnb config. Let's save that out. And as we come back, we notice that the ESLint error for the trailing edge comma is now gone. So now we have Prettier formatting our code and ESLint giving us code quality warnings, which is exactly what we want. You can obviously go and dig into the documentation to see the various other options available with ESLint and with Prettier and configure it to your own liking. 